my friends make fun of me how of how I do like everything on land like very slowly I'm always the last person out of the locker room and like the last person to do everything but when you put her in a pool Leah Neal becomes a champion and this year the 17 year old from Brooklyn will compete on the US Olympic swim team in London it still feels uh, surreal like I, I still can't believe it <laughs> Neil came in fourth in the 100-meter freestyle finals at Saturday's qualifying round in Omaha, Nebraska, good enough to earn her a spot on the women's 400 freestyle relay team. She was timed at 54.33 seconds, inching out American record holder Amanda Weir. When I saw the four next to my name, I was just like kind of confused at first, and then, um, and then once it started processing, I began to like break down. Neil also represents the U.S. swim team's increased diversity. Previously, there was never more than one person of African-American descent on the team. This year, Neil joins Cullen Jones and Anthony Irvin. You are representing a, a, a nationality of people who, who have not been known as sports idols in swimming, you know, and um, I think she's going to hold up to it and, and represent in a major way. Because I'm also half Chinese, so I feel like I'm representing like two different like races and if I can just like make an impact on kids uh, with what I'm doing I feel like that's a that's a good thing. <laughs> Neil began swimming when she was six years old and joined Asphalt Green Unified Aquatics in Manhattan two years later. This isn't Neil's first time at the Olympic trials. She was there in 2008 at age 13. She didn't make the team but that didn't phase her and even today she comes across as remarkably relaxed and low-key. I've heard that I've been pretty chill <laughs> uh, before, and um, when it comes down to it, I guess I get into my zone and I get focused, because I feel like I'm a different person in the pool than outside of it. This is Brian Stillman with the New York Post.